can't hear you. How's it going? See, that, that's much better. Was, was anyone here last year when I did my speech of the impossible? All right, so apparently I talked too much last year because this year they only gave me 10 minutes. But the clock hasn't started yet, so actually I got a little bit more. And in case you're wondering what happened to my arm, I was in an altercation. But you should see the other girl. <laughs> all right, all jokes aside, today I just want to talk about innovating your business. And innovation isn't technology always, right? Innovation has changed. So I only have 10 minutes, so I'm going to talk uh, about a few things that really changed my life. So when I was a 19 year old kid, I was selling Cutco kitchen knives. Anyone have Cutco? I think we all have Cutco. Did I sell anyone Cutco? <laughs> So I was selling kitchen knives, I got really good at sales, I was making my prospecting calls, landing appointments, one day I lost my sales book, and I put myself out of business. And I was like, okay, do I start selling knives again? And then and I thought about it a little bit deeper, and I said, well, wait a minute, I can sell knives, I got good at sales, and I made X amount of dollars. I was in a parking lot, and I saw a sign that said real estate school, and I said, well, wait a minute, if I can sell knives, I can probably sell houses, right? That'd be yes. And you do get paid more, right? Yeah. So in that moment, I got my, uh, I got, I signed up for real estate classes and I started working on my real estate license. So I got into the real estate business at 20 years old and I, in my first six months in the business, I made no money, got no deals. And then I learned about expired listings. Uh, and almost overnight, you guys, I changed my life with expired listings just by calling these people and I ended up making $120,000 in 90 days at 20 years old. And all of this came from picking up the phone and calling expired listings. So then I learned how to do phone sales, I learned how to go after expired listings, and then was anyone around during the Great Recession? Yeah, that, those were not fun times. So during that time, I started doing short sales, right? And remember, innovation has changed. You're always looking for what's next, what's new, what can we do better? So. I started going after these short sales, and I did a short sale transaction. I had a first lead, a second lead, a third lead, an HOA lead, an IRS lead, a lead on the lead, like, just so many leads. And I spent 11 months negotiating this deal, and at the end, I got a check for $7,000. It gets better. The person I sold it to, well, they hired a gardener, cut the lawn, hired a painter painted the house, and flipped it a couple weeks later, made $130,000. I said, well, wait a minute. Something's wrong here. I found the deal, I negotiated the deal, I did all the work. Why did that investor make all the money? So then that was my defining moment of becoming a real estate investor, and in that moment I said, this is it. I'm not gonna sell these things. I'm gonna buy these things. So 